Gute! If you ever used text-to-speech software, you might know the following problem. Sometimes words are pronounced wrong, either from your mother language or from a foreign language, but these words are used quite often in everyday talk. So if you know that problem, welcome to phoneme handling. Gute! Hacky tacky nerd stuff. Open voice enthusiast. Open voice, open future. Before talking about phonemes, at least to my personal experience using Koki TTS repository code, there are two main ways to train a text to speech model. The first version is character based training. So the model will use combinations of characters like AA, AB, AC to learn how these combinations of characters are being pronounced. But as, let's say, the combination of AA might be pronounced different in different words, this is not optimal for quality reasons. The second way is using tools like Phonemonizer or eSpeak or Groot. These type of tools, they take a textual input and use internal rules, dictionaries, and lots of uh, magical fairy dust to transfer that text into a sequence of phonemes. And these series of phonemes will be inputted in the model training or in the text-to-speech process. Personally, I think that models that have been trained using phonemes lead to more natural results. But phoneme magic or mappings isn't available for every language spoken on the planet. And being at this point, I'd like to give a really a big thumb up to all people putting lots of effort into helping underrepresented languages. I would like to mention one person in special and he's a really an incredible nice guy and he's putting lots of effort to make Future of Voice open and so really a thumb up for you and all the people joining your journey, Josh Meyer. <laughs> So this is for you, Josh, and for all people on uh, working on that. And the second thumb up, so this and this, is for all people, for all projects who work to make Future of Voice open. And I'm super happy to be at least a little part of that great and amazing community. Let's go back to the actual question. How can we improve the pronunciation of words using phonemes, but they are not really well pronounced out of the box using that phoneming tools. Most of these tools, they provide the possibility to expand that internal dictionary by adding your own dictionary or adding more entries to that existing dictionary. But I thought, am I the only one in the world struggling with that pronunciation type on text-to-speech solutions? Probably not. So I thought, I wish we have a place where we can collect, for all languages spoken on the planet, we can collect these type of dictionaries, so written version of a word and the phoneme version of that word, how it's pronounced the best. And we can collect this type of information and share it. <laughs> Maybe you get it already. I've created something on the Open Voice Tech Wiki to help on that. So let's go into it. What I would like to show you today is a bot I am creating for the Open Voice Tech Wiki to support improving phoneme handling. And what you will see now is still work in progress, but I hope to release it to the public really soon. So, first of all, go to uh, openvoice-tech.net and open the Open Voice Tech Wiki. If you scroll down the main page to the category tree and open the TTS path, you'll see phoneme handling and click on that. We see something like phoneme list. Let's open that category and right now we have three pages in that category phoneme list. One for American English, and you can see the language code in the brackets, 
EN with uh, US, for the Netherlands, for Dutch language and for German. So let's take a look to the German version. As you can see, we have some content here. Uh, I will explain more to that box uh, in the upper part, but let's first of all take a look at this table. We now have a phoneme list, a simple table with three columns. First column is the word in its written form, like Mycroft. The second column is the way it is spoken, like in German we would write or speak Mycroft like this. And the third column phonemes is the calculated phonemes for that Mycroft spoken version. Same for Koki. And let's edit it and let's say create a new row for, uh, let's say, take timer. Timer is a word used in German quite often, but it's an English word. So normally it would be spoken timer. So, but I would like to be spoken like this timer. I will leave the last um, column of open or free because most people they will not know what are phonemes or how can they calculate phonemes. So just bring in your feedback and in general every feedback is highly appreciated. So let a, leave a, please a comment and tell me what you think on that. So let's say we have that word timer and it's spoken like this. And let's save the change, minor edit, edit timer. So now we have nothing special. We have a new row in that table. But what does this bot do? Right now it's still in development, so the bot is not running in a cron job, so it's not running automatically every x minutes. But let's start the bot manually. What the bot will do is the bot will check every page in the, uh, in the every page in the category phoneme list and for every page found in that category such as the American English version, the Dutch version and the German version it will check for a table and will take that table content and see if there are any new words added so such as this word in the German version word is timer, it's spoken like this version and it's calculating the, um, the phoneme codes, the phoneme sequence and we'll update this on the wiki, hopefully. So let's just go back and refresh the page. And now we have automatically computed by the bot the phonemes of the word timer. So that's probably part one <laughs> out of two right now of the features the Open Voice Tech bot for phoneme handling has. So Hopefully we can add more words and make this list hopefully bigger. But let's say we have that list. How can we use it to improve tools like eSpeak or Groot? Um, do I need to copy and paste every row, every column and create a CSV file, whatever, or a dictionary out of that? No, <laughs> that's part two of the bot. The bot will take that table input and create a CSV file or a text file automatically. So let's jump to um, my repo on GitHub. So open github.com Torst Müller Open Voice Tech Wikibot. And you can see here a phoneme list folder. So let's click on that. And as we can see that we have a DE CSV, an English US CSV and the NL CSV file. And the DE file has just changed two minutes ago. So let's check out this file. And we can see now some information uh, in the comments on the top. 
the CV file for language DE is created by Phoneme Bot based on a page revision of the page Phoneme List German DE. Date when it has been created and disclaimer this list is provided without any warranty. And if you would like to improve the list, here's the link directly to that page. And the main part is we have that list simply the written version of the word blank the phoneme sequence. So let's give it another try and let's say we would like to edit the list. Let's say Uten, which might be pronounced better this way. Save it. Uten edit. Save the page. When I refresh it right now, there is that third column still empty. So let's do the bot do its magic. And again, it will check every page in the category for name list. It's recognizing that Booten has been edited and it's creating the phoneme sequence. Now refresh it. Yeah, and so we have that phoneme calculation. Let's take a look to that list and refresh this page. Yeah, so at this point, I really would have love to have your feedback. What do you think on that? I've chatted a little bit with Michael Hansen and he had some nice ideas on how to improve it even more. Maybe to automatically synthesize an audio sample on how it's sounding. So there is definitely plenty of room for improvements. But I really I would love to hear what you think on what you think on that. Let's create, let's say, a new page. Uh, let's say let's make an Italian version. Let's call it Italian phoneme list. And the important part is that bracket stuff. So let's take the language code IT for Italian. Let's create the list, uh, not the list, let's create the page. Make some introduction. This page contains phoneme improvements for Italian language. And now let's insert a table. The bot will take the first column to be the written word, the second column to be the spoken version, and the third column to be the computed phoneme sequence. You can add more columns, but the first three columns have to be in that order. The way you type it to the header is not relevant, but the order is relevant. Let's make Italian written version spoken like and phonemes. So delete that last column and let's add test Ta-da! So it's just uh, to play around. And um, let's save the page. Initial Italian version. Save. And there's one aspect I have to do that the bot will recognize that page. So let's edit by source and make a category phoneme list uh, edit phoneme list category so save the changes and now we can see that phoneme list category here in the footer click here and we have in addition to the pages that already existed we have that italian version now so if things go right and I will run the bot now. The bot should recognize this new page, should extract language code from the value between the brackets in the page name, the page title, check 
if eSpeak is supported for that language code, insert that block that it's supported by eSpeak, compute the phonemes automatically and create a new IT CSV file on the GitHub repository. So, whoa, lots of stuff to be done automatically. Let's hope for the best and check if the bot is doing well. So, good stuff is checking page Italian phoneme list uh, for language code, detected language code IT. So the bot found that new page, the bot found the language code out of it and is working on that page. So let's check it. So switching to the next page for the American English version. So let's go back here. And if I refresh the page now, let's see if we have a change. Yeah. So, worked as <laughs> expected. So, we have now that automatically created block that this language is supported by eSpeak and the phonemes for that, tada, have been added automatically to the phonemes column. And let's go back to the phoneme list folder and tada, we now have an Italian version uh, CSV file 40 seconds uh, ago created. So let's click it and we now have that language for Italian language and our entry here. But yeah, that's it for now. I would really love to hear your feedback. If you like the type of content I'm doing there, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up or share my videos and stuff like that. Thanks for now and we will see us next time. Bye.